Hello guys, welcome back to the Seven Engineering YouTube channel. Please subscribe our channel for daily Seven Engineering videos. Today our lecture is about the difference between the truss structure and the frame structure. First of all, I will try to explain the truss structure and then I will come to the frame structure. The truss structure is a type of a structure which is only subjected to the axial stresses. It means that you have, that you have only tension or the compressive forces in your truss member. Let's suppose that this is in the truss structure. The truss structure is always looks like in this shape in which the truss members, these are called the truss members, where these truss members are always connected to one another by the, at the nodes. You see here, these are connected at the nodes. And this truss here is supported uh, by the hinge support at one end and here as well by the hinge support at the other end. So truss structure is a type of a structure which is only subjected to the axial load are axial stresses axial stresses it means axial stresses means that your truss member is either subjected to the tension or compression there is no such bending or the shear tension or compression forces and the loads are always applied on the truss structure on the nodes and the nodes are joined you see here these are the nodes and these are the joints you see here are nodes and the joints are the same thing and loads are always being applied here. Let's suppose that there is a 2 kN and 2 kN as well as the 2 kN. So you have to analyze this, stru this structure. So you have to place the loads always on the nodes are in the joint and then your truss member will take this load as a tension or compression. Some of these truss members will be subjected to the tension and some of the truss member will be subjected to the compression. And then from the equilibrium you have to analyze which member is your intention and which member is in compression. And the total load will be resisted by these two supports at the end. After analysis you will get to know that which member is your tension and which member is in compression. For example, let's suppose this member is in tension and let's suppose this is in compression, this is in compression, this in tension, this in tension, this in compression, this in compression, this in tension, similarly this in tension. So you should place C for compression and T for tension. After analyzing, you will get to know which member is in compression and which is in tension. So it means there is no other stress stresses like we say bending or shear stresses. There is no such type of stresses, only we have the axial stresses, means the tension are compression in the truss members and the load will always be applied at your nodes. This was the main, uh, you can see the main properties for the truss member, for the truss structure. Now to define the frame structure, frame is quite different from that of the truss structure. In case of the frames, you frame structure is the combination of the beams, columns, slab and the footing and you have, may have different types of beam like lentil beam, like uh, the simply supported beam or may have the fixed in beam. You can see here that this is slab here. The load, the load being placed on the slab. You can place load anywhere in the frame structure. Not like the truss structure where you have to place the load for analysis on the node. But no, you have to place, you can place your load at in, at each point of your structure. So let's suppose this is any load been placed on the frame structure and this is the slab where the slab is a 2D member mainly subjected to the flexure stresses. Now after slab you have beams at the side at the corner of your structure and these beams from these beams take the load from the slab so this load has been transferred to the beams. You see here and so I can name it here these are the beams. Now after beams the load being transferred to the columns and these are the columns which are the vertical members and which are the compressive members which takes only compressive load here. The beam takes the shear and the flexure load, the slab takes the flexure load and the columns takes the compressive load. After this the load being transferred again to the this bottom column and similarly from this story you will also have the load to the beams from the slab and then to the column and then again to the last column. So in this way your load will be distributed and at the last your whole load will be transferred to the foundation or footing. 
So this frame structure has different members like the slaves, flexor member, beam is a flexor member, column is a compressor member and the foundation which is also designed for compressor load as well as the flexor loads. If you have big foundation so you design for the flexor load as well. So frame structure is quite different because it is different loads acting on the structure and they have different members and different elements like slave, beam, column and foundation. Hope you guys understand and don't forget to subscribe my channel for daily 7 engineering videos. Thank you for watching my video.